In today's lesson, we dissect the intro and the verse and the chorus of Island of Domination by Judas Priest. Enjoy. Alright, Island of Domination by Judas Priest. Uh, this is a song in 4-4 with a triplet feel. Uh, you're going to need to know that to get the phrasing right. So uh, diving right in the first note is a A power chord. I play it up here in the fifth position. Let that ring out for two bars. Uh, the beat's about... So it's like... Alright, so that little riff right there, it's uh, after the two bars of the A power chord ring out. You go A, A, twice on the 5th fret, or you can even do open string, A, A. And it's up here, 5th fret on the G, 4th fret on the G, 7th fret on the D, 4th fret on the G, 7th fret on the D, 5th fret on the D, and then A power chord. So it's 1, 2, Three ta ta, four ta ta. One, two, three four lead, four four lead. Okay, so after you do that, let that ring out for one bar. Three, then there's two bars of silence on the guitar. The next riff is um, similar to the first one. So it's uh, twice on the A. Uh, I like to play this one with the open for sure. A, A, then ninth fret on the G, 10th fret on the G, 10th fret on the D, 7th fret on the G, 9th fret on the D, 10th fret on the D. Okay, so uh, once you do that, go to the E, come front on the A string, and this is a syncopated uh, triplet type rhythm. It's basically every other triplet. So if you're counting triplet, 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 be triplet, 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 triplet. Last part of that is just a five to the seven on the B string, the power chord. Okay, and you let the A power chord ring out for uh, for one bar, four, four beats. Then you go Alright, so what that is is basically drum A. One, two, three, four, one pole led two, three pole led four, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, one pole led two, three pole led four, one, two, three. So it's a A, one pole led two on the C, on the third fret power chord on the A string, then three pole led four on the G. E ring out for a bar, and you go to A, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, A, two, three, four. 
so that all together the whole intro would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Three bullet, four bullet, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two. Alright, awesome. Now that you got the uh, intro. We're going to go ahead and jump into the super pentatonic sounding uh, verse. So basically it's uh, based around this uh, fifth fret pentatonic shape. Basically E pentatonic. Um, so, it's uh, starting off it's twice on the low E string, open. Then we go up here on the sound front of the A. The fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the E, fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the A, fifth fret on the D. Then we go seven, five on the A, seven on the E, seven on the A, seven, five on the A, to seven on the E, five on the A, seven on the E, three on the E. And then it starts out, so real slow. So some of this I'm, uh, I'm doing what's called a finger roll, so you go, so instead of like lifting my finger up and then placing it over here on the 7, I go from here on the 7 on the E to the 7 on the A, I just go, just uh, roll it, so it's not making, I'm not even fretting the uh, the node at all, it's, bare, it's not even being pushed down at all, it's like you just go from here, completely muted by my fingers so but I'm fretting the stem fret up here. So that's a cool way to get the, the speed up. So that just goes on and on uh, while the lead lines go over it. Um, we're going to cover that in the next video. So uh, Transitioning into the chorus from the verse, it's the same riff except it uh, plays this little little fourth double stop right there in the fifth fret to the fifth fret is A to the D string. So once again, transitioning into the chorus. C power chord. I'm then on the E, three, two, zero. Then second fret on the A, up to the sixth fret on the A. And the next part is actually still part of the chorus. It's, it's very similar to the verse, except we use more of that double stop. So after the... Just listen to the recording to get the right uh, right timing for that. So All right. So basically, it's verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then it's that little bridge and breakdown, which we're going to cover that in the next video. Hopefully, get to the lead lines and the solos and stuff. Uh, either that one, probably the one after. So, three videos set here. All right, thanks for tuning in. Peace.